everyone, my name is Carlina and I graduated from Challenger in 2019 and I'm currently at UCLA in Los Angeles, California, majoring in communications and quadruple minoring in entrepreneurship, digital humanities, global studies, and professional writing. Something I learned in an economics class I took recently was called cost-benefit analysis, which is used to determine the best options that result in the greatest benefits. And without a doubt, the benefits of attending Challenger Early College truly outweighed any costs. Not gonna lie, it was definitely tough at times with the sleepless and stressful days and nights due to exams and homework assignments. But without Challenger, I truly wouldn't have been able to get to where I am today. With the amazing support from teachers and staff, Challenger was truly the best decision I ever made. From receiving both your high school diploma as well as your associate's degree simultaneously, Challenger effectively enables you to succeed both in the workforce as well as for your universities and colleges and gives you the competitive edge over traditional high school programs. Challenger is such a tight-knit community that is truly dedicated to your success and as cliche as it sounds, uh, we're truly one big Firebird family and I couldn't have imagined spending my four years anywhere else. So good luck guys and you got this! Okay, so stay at Challenger because Challenger itself is such a supportive environment. Like when I tell you they are your family, they are your family. Hi guys, my name is Anaya Leinberger and I graduated in 2020. I'm a freshman at Appalachian State University majoring in East Asian languages and cultures with a minor in Japanese or Chinese. I understand that you are facing a, a challenging path of uncertainty, but you have made a wise decision in choosing a path that you, will put you ahead of your peers. Although this pandemic has brought a lot of unexpected changes, your journey has only begun. A quote that I really want you guys to reflect on is, we don't grow when things are easy, we grow when we face challenges. You'll face a lot of obstacles during your four years, but that's a part of life. During my time at Challenger, I have faced mental, emotional, and ac academic obstacles that I am still overcoming. You should utilize your teachers and counselors while you still have time. I miss the days where I had constant support and guidance. I miss the trouble me and my friends would often get into during my time at Challenger. Some tips that I want you guys to take note of. Do your homework on time. Do not be afraid to ask for help. Procrastination is your enemy. Cry when you need to because I did almost every day. Cherish the fun moments and be, sp be spontaneous and just be yourself and don't allow anyone to bring you down or stop you from accomplishing your dreams. So I wish you guys luck, and I know that right now with the pandemic everything is difficult, but I'm going to be completely transparent with you and say that that's life, and things will get better at some point, but we can do it, we can get through this, so good luck, and I wish you all the best on your journey through Challenger. And it's, it's such a good environment. You have such a good support system. If you go to a traditional high school, sure, you have like a counselor, but you won't have teachers that you can build rapports with. Hi, everyone. My name is Alex, and I was class of 2019 for Challenger. I'm currently a second year senior here at App State, and I'm majoring in Spanish education. Um, I have two big reasons why one should continue in Challenger, even through the difficult times. And the first one is because since Challenger is such a small school, you're able to grow such a strong relationship between your friends and between your teachers. And it's something that I'm truly grateful for because to this day, I keep in contact with some of the teachers from there because I know that they will help me through whatever I need and they will support me through whatever. And if they can't, they don't know the answer to my question, they will find the answer for me and they'll just be there to support you. And honestly, just like give you a big hug and I love that so much. Um, Another big reason is because I was, I, I'm ready to start my career and to start my life. And Challenger is something that really helped me to do that faster because I'm currently 19 and I'm about to graduate with my bachelor's in Spanish education. And I'm about to go into my career after in just about one year finishing up this year. Um, and it's something that I could have never done without Challenger, but those are my big two reasons why you should stay. You won't have teachers <laughs> who feel like they're your family. So my name is Brian Vignettes. I graduated in 2019. And when I came to Challenger for the first time, it was really hard to make friends because I was introverted. I didn't know anybody. I was nervous. But everyone came out and reached out to me, trying to be friendly and be friends with me, and it was nice. My junior year, 
I got on the wrong path. I started hanging out with the wrong people, wrong crowd, doing the wrong things. But the school teachers and everyone up there, like Mr. Whalen, Ms. Reynolds, and Ms. Benfield, they all reached out to help me out. Senior year, back in the room, I started changing a lot. I started, I ain't listening to the Army. I became the mascot. They keep telling me I was one of the best. I was just being myself. My true self is like a bird and whatnot. This past year that happened, I went to training, Army training. Uh, when we got out, when I got out, I went from the reserves, I was lost for a little bit, but now I got everything straight, I know what I want to do. Uh, so challenging, what they really taught me is to go for what I want, to not take no, to when people tell me something's not possible, I make sure I make my own possibilities happen. CHS gave me the push that I needed and the hope that I needed at the time when I was hopeless. They taught me how to keep going forward and to not quit. So you should stay in CHS. They really help. You never know who uh, you're going to inspire to be someone great. So I really appreciate them a lot. You can do it. Your you are your body and your brain. You are so much more capable than what you think you are. Hi everyone. My name is Carly Chavez, and I am from the Challenger graduating class of 2019. I am currently finishing up my last year at Garden Web University, majoring in healthcare management. One of my favorite things about Challenger were the relationships that I was able to build and maintain. Even after two years, I know that I can still reach out to my Firebird family if I am ever in need of anything. Personally, I know how difficult that the Challenger program can be. It is very overwhelming and at times you may even feel like you just can't do it anymore. But I'm here to tell you to keep pushing through because it is absolutely worth it in the end. One of the greatest things about Challenger are the benefits um, about saving time and money in the future. You are going to be able to build credits that will transfer and save you thousands of dollars and you may even be able to graduate a year or two earlier. I wholeheartedly believe in the Challenger program and I know that these are trying times but I would not change my decision to um, stay at Challenger for anything. Hey everyone, um, my name is Andrew Ligdahl and I'm a second year junior at NC State majoring in physics and economics and I just want to talk to you guys uh, about a couple reasons why you should stay a challenger. So right off the bat when I first came to challenger in 2015 I wanted to drop out. I missed my friends and it was a new environment that I wasn't very sure of and I can only imagine how you guys feel uh, to have your first year of high school be under the circumstances that they are is most definitely tough. But a wise man from Challenger named Ernest Rutherford once said that troubles come, but they do pass, and heartaches hurt, but they don't last always. And that's a motto that has gotten me through a lot in life. And the one thing I want to promise you, and I know you don't know me, so perhaps my promise doesn't mean much, but I mean, I think I'm a pretty trustworthy person. I think I look trustworthy. But I promise you that every single person at Challenger will absolutely ride for you. I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't be that the happier person that I am today without the help and assistance I had from everyone at Challenger. Of course, the curriculum is tough, but the friends that you will make because of small class sizes, when small classes do come back, and they will come back, will strengthen bonds between you and your peers like none other. And the bonds that you make with your teachers will last you forever. I'm constantly texting Miss Diarman. I talk to Mrs. Kale very regularly. These are people who genuinely love and care about you. And it makes it worth it to go through what you're going to go through. It's absolutely worth it. So I hope my short little video has helped. Um, and honestly, I wish you all the best.